Sometimes I smile at the audience, even though I couldn't see anybody last night. I kept smiling. I kept thinking, I hope there are people out there. No, <laughs> no, no, no. So we have our points. So I'd like to see you get more engaged. So what we do is, here's a big thing too. We take our flute and we always bring the flute to us. We don't go to the flute, okay? And this is for when you get older. You have very good position now, but as you get older, you might get tired. And what happens is, we start pulling back the flute and it starts rolling in. So always think we step into it, we pick up our flute and we play. The right thumb pushes from behind. Can everybody who has a flute in their hand try this without fingers? Three pressure points here, here, and here. So don't touch anything. Okay, put your thumb, I don't wanna see any thumbs underneath. The thumb has to go from behind. You see this? You don't see my thumb hanging. This took me a long time to do. That's it. Very good. Good. And you've got real long fingers. So what we're going to have to do with you is you're going to have to work a little bit, curving that a little bit as you get older. Right? And you'll take those out eventually. Right? You're probably ready to take a couple out now. you got you got little... Uh, thin little fingers here, thinner than mine. So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to learn to press a little bit like that. You'll work it out, you'll feel them. I've got it out here and that's one of the difficult ones. Good for you. <laughs> Great. Straight thumb, always, a, yeah. So you wanna work on that too. Okay, and then we, let's do this. Everybody, take their flutes and like this. Straight thumb, okay? Everyone stand up. It's easier to do standing up, okay? So, that's it. So just, yeah. I'll show you. You're gonna just hold it. Just hold it. Let's move the music stand. Okay, that's it. You and me, we're just up here, see? Okay, now we're gonna take our thumb and we're gonna place it behind the F key. Or just, just hold your hold your hand like this for a second, everyone, with the right, okay? Just let go of the, uh, just put your hand like this, just kind of talk to me like this, you know? But the, yeah, with your hand, yeah, that's good. Do you see when you do that, how your fingers go on the flute? You see this one is curved, and this one is, is a little bit curved out. This is straight, and this is curved. So now you want to take your hand from that position and pull it back. Just pull it back. Pretend nobody ever told you that. There you go. There you go. And you can move this because you're long fingered. And you will learn to play on the side of your finger. And then if you play on the side of your finger, you'll be able to slide back and forth. See that? Because you want to eventually be able to really get down there. Last night in the Rigoletto I play, it goes from C to B to C all the way up real quick. It goes da 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 like this, you know? And I can't lose that flute either. And you know how when you go down there, the whole flute shakes? It's kind of like an earthquake. You know, we can't have any earthquakes when we play, right? We want to always have smooth playing. So what you have to learn is to do this. And this is why also with your flute, always check that it's very smooth here, okay? So basically, there's your position. The middle finger is perpendicular, is straight, and the other two arch outwards. I know it's tricky. The right hand, as Sir James says, is of the uh, ultimate, it's the most important part of holding the flute but it takes a little time. When I was young, I came back from my first professional master class, and the teacher had this great hand position, and I was like this. You know, I was a young kid, that's what I did. That's the way I held, I didn't know how to hold the flute. You know, when you first start, you're like this, and then, and so it was kind of like this, and my thumb was out, and I saw all these people, they looked great when they played the flute, you know? So I had them just, so then I practiced with an orange in my hand. Can you imagine getting all summer in an, with an orange? That's a little bit fake, you know, but I got the hand position. So three pressure points. So you're gonna work on the arch a little bit and pushing from behind. And just before we start, I wanna hear this once more. Everybody sit. So a little bit of standing. We're gonna put our left foot forward, that's right. And then we put this up. So then right from here, now look at the way she looks. Right? Engaging, ready to go. Now, can you start your piece for us? And really think more like a trumpet. Pump, bum, bum, beep, bum. And keep the embouchure that you had for the first note for
for the next C natural, okay? And keep going to the B flat. You see, just because this is a, is, you can rest for a second, okay? <laughs> just because these are, are eighth notes, quarter note, and then sixteenths, it's one line. You see how I bring that long note to the moving notes? And then I want you to feel one other thing. I know our time is up. Make a fist. Push, push, push. No, no, push me. Push. I'm very strong. You can push. Push. Yeah, stay there. You feel that? So everything is here. Everything all the time. Takes the pressure out of here. Keeps this open. Okay? Big breath from down. Look at it. And also, your piano sees you when you breathe. So we don't have to bring them in, all right? Otherwise, it takes it away from the embouchure. Now, one other thing, because that's the first note, okay? That's that's the first note. I want you to get, get the flute set. Play me a couple of C naturals. Good, I have an idea too. If this guy is more under, you're gonna hold that C natural better. You see, you see that? That's all I'm saying, it's a shell. There you go. Yeah. Play me a couple of C's. Okay. Okay, now blow down onto your arm. And press, press here. That's it. You see, what I'm seeing here is a direct line now, okay? Think of blowing into your arm. Start from the beginning. Okay. Once more, I want more B flat. Once more. Now, very good. And here, don't don't lose your sound here. Deem dum da dum. Once more. Can you play that legato? D a da dum. Again. And as you're going down, I want you to blow into your arm because you're directing your air into the flute more. You see the difference in the sound? These muscles direct the air into the flute, okay? 